Today we're going to make a place value chart so that we can show that we understand and can explain the value of digits. To do this you're going to need the following materials. Four different coloring pencils, a regular pencil, a ruler, and a piece of notebook paper. Pause the video until you have these materials and are ready to begin. To begin, take your ruler. You'll notice that there are two lines that are red on your page, one above and one below. Place the ruler so that it is just underneath the top red line and use that as a guide to draw a line across all of the blue lines on your page. You'll need to hold the ruler carefully in order to make sure you get a good straight line. Now moving to the bottom of the page, you're going to place the ruler just above that red line using it as a guide. And again, draw two horizontal lines, one above and one below. Now we're going to break the page into columns. Each column is going to have six notebook paper lines. We'll start by drawing this first guideline here and counting over one, two, three, four, five, six. And draw a line. Continue this pattern one, two, three, four, five, six until you have all four of the columns you will need. We won't be using this area today, but we will be needing these four columns. Each of these columns represents a period in the place value system. This first one will be the largest one that we use. This is the millions period. The thousands period follows it. The ones period, very familiar to us all. And the decimals. Now we're going to break each of these periods into three additional columns. Two notebook paper lines to make each column. So starting over here at the decimals, we'll count over two and we'll continue the line from below the period title to the bottom of the page. In doing this, we'll have three columns in each period. So continue this pattern all the way across the page. Now that we've created this set of columns, we want to label them, so I'm going to reorient the page. Here you can see that I've focused in on the ones period, and in the ones period we have one, we have ten, and we have 100, each different place values in the ones period. Now that same pattern continues through the larger periods. We have a thousands period or 1,000. We have a ten thousands place ten in the thousands period and we also have one hundred thousands or one hundred 
in the thousands period. You'll see that pattern continuing again in the millions period where we have one in the millions period Ten million groups of ten millions, and then hundred millions groups of one hundred million. The pattern changes slightly when we go back to the decimals. In this decimal period, we have the tenths place. We'll represent that with a 1 in the tenths place. The hundredths place. represented by a 1 in the hundredths place, 0 decimal, 0, 1, and a thousandths place, represented by 0 0.001, or a 1, in the thousandths place. Now we'll finish labeling our chart by adding some large numbers down below in this space in the below the red line we're going to make a large set of numbers starting with one when you get to the end you'll have room for several zeros you may need more than one of these while we're using the chart and then we're going to add some color to distinguish our periods I'm going to start with yellow for my decimals. Here you can see I've colored above and below yellow. I'm going to use green for my ones place. We'll put blue in for the thousands place. and finish with red for the millions place. And when you're finished coloring, we have now created a place value chart that will now help us to better understand and explain the value of digits. In our next video, we will learn to manipulate this chart.